is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the greatest of them all. Praise God. Is it some a young man came and said that name Jesus don't mean anything. Yes, it does. There's power in the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter number two, verse number ten and verse number eleven. At the name of Jesus, whether you call him Yahshua, or Jesus, or Yahweh, still talking about the same one. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Oh, oh, oh hallelujah! Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whether you call him Yahshua, Yahweh, or Jesus. Hallelujah, it's in many different languages, but we're still talking about the same being. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 and verse 18. The Lord, Moses spoke about Jesus. He knew, he knew who Jesus was. He prophesied about him. He said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet from among you, fellow Israelites, and you must listen to that prophet. I will tell that prophet what to say, and he will tell the people everything I command him. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15, on to verse 18. Now, Jesus, Moses knew who Jesus was. Look at the book of Matthew chapter number 17, verse 2. Jesus was transfigured before them, his face shining as the sun, and his garments became white as a light at that point. The prophet Elijah representing the prophets and Moses representing the law appeared and Jesus began to talk to them. So that means Moses knew who Jesus was. He prophesied about the Savior in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18, verse 15, on down to verse 18. Whether you call him Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Greek form. Yahshua HaMashiach, the Hebrew name. We're still talking about the same Jesus. Now look what Jesus said in the book of St. Luke, chapter number 24, verse 44. Jesus said to them, we're talking to the Jews. These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law from Moses to the prophet. Moses was talking about Jesus. Jesus said that Moses wrote about me. So now what Jesus said in the book of St. John chapter 10, verse 30, I and my father are one, amen. Jesus said in the book of St. John chapter eight, verse 58, before Abraham was, I am. That's the same thing that God told Moses through the burning bush. Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. I am that I am. Still talking about the same being, Yahshua. Yahweh, Yahshua, HaMashiach. Now someone, one of the Hebrew Israelites said, well, that name don't work. Jesus, where it worked for me, and may not have worked for you, but it worked for me, whether you call him Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahshua, HaMashiach, Jesus, we're still talking about the same being. It worked for me. I've seen that name had power. Back in the Bronx, where I came from, I was born in Harlem. Been preaching the gospel since I was six years old. There was a young man that got shot in the hood. After we played basketball, somebody shot the young man in the back. He was laying up in the ambulance, turning blue. God began to show me the young man's spirit out of his body, chained up by two demons. The demons looked like gremlins, sought in the spirit. I began to pray for that young man. I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord, return his spirit back into his body. The young man came back to life. My God, God brought the man back to life in the ambulance. That name Jesus has power, whether you call him Yahweh, Yahshua, HaMashiach, demons recognize who Jesus is. Sad thing about it, that after God brought the young man back to life, he murdered his own baby. Now I'm sorry, I even asked God to bring the man back to life. So now he's locked up in prison somewhere. Some folk will never repent, because their heart don't want to repent. The Bible declares in Jeremiah chapter number 17, verse number 9, that the heart is desperately wicked. It is a seafood above all things who can know it. 
I, the Lord God, knows the heart. That's why God doesn't answer everybody's prayers. Somebody said that name don't work in these days and time. We look at Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was a Christian. She believed in Jesus. Her faith in God enabled her to free all those slaves, 300 slaves, through the Underground Railroad. I believe she even freed more. Her faith in Jesus, she was calling on Jesus while she had the slaves freeing them through the Underground Railroad all the way from the North Star. That name do got power. That name do work. What do you call me, Yahshua? Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. I've seen what the name Jesus have done. Jesus healed my body. When I was eight years old on the operation table, I began to call on Jesus and God healed me. i seen that name Jesus raise the dead. Back in the days of Azusa Street. Study it. That's back in the slavery day. God was still working miracles. Hallelujah. Back in the days of A.A. Island and Arturio Skinner and R.W. Shanbach, Apostle Johnny Washington, I seen that name has power. Now, many times folk call on the name of Jesus and it doesn't always work for everybody because everyone doesn't want to repent from sin. Whether you call him Yahweh, Yahshua, HaMashiach. Praise the Lord. God doesn't always answer everybody's prayers. So that's why I pray to God every day. Why he ain't answering? Well, look what the Bible declares in 2 Chronicles. Chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which I call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, stop the racism, stop the hatred. God don't hate black skin. God hates the black heart. Don't let love depart. Just like God don't hate white. God hates spite. God don't hate Indian. So give God thanksgiving. God don't hate Chinese. I i Japanese. God don't hate Asian. God's grace is still amazing. Stop the hate. Don't play hate. In all 50 states, come to Jesus before it's too late. Hallelujah. Turn from the wicked ways. And then God said, I will come and hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. Now God can heal the land. When we stop the hatred towards one another. Now God can heal the land. When we learn how to love one another as Christ had loved you. Now God can heal the land. When you love your wife, because your wife is your queen. Now she's a queen Jezebel. Uh, he's a, a male Jezebel. Don't get with a man abusing you. God bless you, woman of God. I'm so happy to see you. I love that smile that God put in your face. Seeing you smile makes me smile. Hallelujah. Thank God for the young woman of God that God is using in a mighty way. Could take a Lord to protect her. As she fight crime, Lord, here in New Jersey. Praise God. I thank God for my lovely wife. Praise God. Who God is blessing in a mighty way. Love your husband. Love your children. Don't be a child molester. When we turn from our wicked ways, then God will hear. When we stop the racism and black people stop fighting against each other. Then God will hear. Then God will hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.